Hi, welcome to Lavapit. When the map came out, I got a lot of requests to make a parking video for this map. Since there are not many things to climb on, I never did. You can do a few small tricks, like directly going to the lowest level in the middle from the side of the bridges, but that's about it. However, there is still much to discover in this map. This arena has the strangest physics of the game. Things that look solid are not always so solid, and sometimes the other way around as well. The wall for example looks easy to drive on, but when you try to go drive over it, you can sink in some parts. Some pieces even push you, even when you do nothing. Then in the middle you can get your cart stuck by backing up the moment you are about to fall to the lower level. You can still sort of drive around after doing so. A while ago, Sea Dragon and his friends discovered that there is a gap in the outside wall beside the blue bridge. Later Fearfly put this on YouTube as well. So, what happens here is that this was basically the opening of the CTF version of this arena. They basically closed the end of the tunnel, and that's it. The gap in the back is now patched, but not all issues related to this mistake have been resolved. When you look at the tunnel in the CTF version, there is this gap in the pillar supporting the bridge. This is also present in the normal map, again, only at the blue bridge. You can go through it, hide Lobgra and Yooks in it, make trick shots through it, or hide there yourself. You can become completely invisible, as shown here. I tried to hide from Pitchy Kubots a lot here, but my name stuck out. I tried it again with Atomic Fire and Thunder, but the name tag betrayed me again. However, for a moment I was completely invisible. If there is ever a hide and seek competition, you know where to look. So, with all the strange physics, you can actually do a very cool challenge. Get on the wall in the CTF version, and drive all the way around to where you started. The first person that can show me a recording of you driving all the way around, will win close to $18 in Smash cards. More than enough to buy a Smash Pass or to buy the bundle that blocks all ads forever. It is not going to be easy, so best of luck to everyone.